Thanks for coming to the, uh, our technology product forum. Um, so I want to do a quick uh, uh, introduction here. Um, so as we may know that ChatGPT 3.0 was only released in November 2022. So that's only like 22 months ago. But we already see that um, the technology of large language models and the generative AI has taken over the world, right? So we've seen phenomenal explosion of the technology. That's almost like everything everybody is talking about. And what's more, the technology advancement in, that, in large language models and generative AI is mind-boggling. Every month, every week, so we're talking about something new. So there's uh, like endless advancements of the large language model and the generative AI technologies. We also uh, believe that cloud and uh, large language model and generative AI technologies go hand in hand. It's almost like the two sides of the same coin. Uh, we've been talking about reshaping the entire technology stack of Alibaba Cloud for a while. And today I want to give a quick update of what's the latest advancement. It's a long journey, what's the latest advancement uh, we are making in that journey. Just a little bit of nit bit. You've heard all the announcements uh, 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 before the, 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 the show starts. In this conference, all these uh, speeches are made by large language models. So we, that saves a lot of uh, 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 human uh, labor. We don't need, even need a human uh, MC anymore. So uh, obviously, this year is very important in Alibaba's history. We've been a top a sponsor of Olympic Games since 2018. And uh, this year, we have, the Olymp uh, we have the Paris 2024. Um, so this is uh, the, the game that the entire game uh, has gone full cloud native. What do we mean by this? All the uh, results score distribution, the live broadcast, the on-demand video uh, uh, contents, and the media asset management, then the IOC, uh, the official websites, and the, uh, many other IT systems are all on Alibaba Cloud. Not only that, we have revolutionized the Olympic experiences with AI. So we have partnered with the Olymp Olympic Committee to use the AI technologies to restore the old images so that they, they can relive the history. And then we'll have this new technology called the multi-camera replay. You just seen the video about that allows you to, allows the audience can see the game from any angle they want to. Uh, we have this uh, interesting uh, experiment called Cloud Memento. We set up booths uh, in front of those uh, game uh, avenues, and, uh, uh, and, and the users can, can, can go there taking a photo, and suddenly they have an uh, a, a animated video of them being an athlete playing various kinds of games. We also have uh, Alibaba Cloud Bow, that's a chatbot to, to, to answer questions with regard to Olympics. Behind the Olympics, uh, it's the entire stack of Alibaba Cloud's uh, technology and infrastructure. Obviously, the game utilizes our overseas regions in Frankfurt, in, uh, in Singapore, in United States. And also, uh, it utilizes a lot of the technologies and products that has been redesigned uh, to be AR-oriented. Obviously, we have now uh, 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 pioneered this new computing paradigm called the model as a service, as we can see here on top of the infrastructure service and the platform as a service. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about some of the advancements in the infrastructure and also the advancements, innovations of our AI models and applications from Alibaba Cloud. First, let's talk about the network. So as we know that for AI training workload, a high performance network is critical. So this is why we, we have upgraded our uh, networking architecture, uh, which is called HPN, high performance network, to 7.0. So what's new here? So it, 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 in, it involves a new topology design. It has a layered topology design, allows the easily scale to 100,000 GPU cards. And also it features a dual 
uh, plan topology and the dual uplink so that it can get, get very high availability. Um, we have a separate front network and a back end network. The front end network features 400 gigabps bandwidth uh, for storage access and uh, external communications. Uh, the band, uh, back end network features 3.2 terabps for full bandwidth interconnection between any two GPU nodes. Uh, we have end-to-end -end optimization with our pr pr proprietary network protocols and the implementations. That includes the, uh, the, our proprietary RDMA protocol called SOLA, and also includes uh, our proprietary flow control protocol called HPC, HPCC. That achieves a very high utilization of our network bandwidth. Next, I want to talk about the storage. So during the training time, storage is also uh, very important. Our storage solution is called CPFS, Cloud Parallel File Systems. It provides ultimate storage capability for generative AI computing. Um, we have in further enhanced the, the, the capabilities of CPFS. Now it can do 20 terabytes per second data throughput. And also, uh, when we do training, we want to exchange change data, put the model data for inference purposes on op, uh, object storage services, OSS. And that's why we also upgrade our transfer speed with OSS to 100 gigabytes per second. More importantly, we also improve the, uh, improve the capacity limit of a single file system by 11 folds. CPFS is fully managed so that uh, we can independently scale its capa cap capacity and the throughput. And, and also, uh, there's, uh, it's always multi-tenant ready, so we actually achieve very good utilization and with good tenant isolation. We further optimize the cost without the sacrifice of performance. We have uh, the technology for automatic detecting hot and cold storage and uh, to store in tiered uh, storage. And we also optimize the, the data encoding schemes to improve the storage efficiency. Next, talk about the container services. That's where most of the, the applications are now, now running on a Kubernetes-based container architecture. So we further upgraded the product capabilities of our container services. Um, now we can support a fine grain scaling, so individual container shapes can be upscaled in the increments of uh, half of a vCPU and one gigabyte of memory. And these upgrades can be done transparently without the interrupting services. Uh, we're also supporting uh, much higher elasticity. So when we, whenever we want to spin up more parts, we can do that and support very high concurrency. So as we see, we can launch 10,000 parts every minute, and we use predictive warm-up techniques based on the historical, historical load patterns. We also achieve very great uh, uh, cost effectiveness. We've, this, this service uses the pay-as-you-go service. You only need to spin up parts as you need. And also, uh, we have this uh, daily commitment uh, saving plan that achieves, allows to achieve 55% savings. Uh, coming soon, we are going to add in more support for GPU compute. Uh, for example, topology aware scheduling, and also support the, the HPN 7.0 network. And finally, we support enterprise-grade uh, multi-tenant isolation. So adding these two things, to, uh, these things together, so we have the, at, at the bottom layer, we have GPU, CPU, heterogeneous chips. Then we have AI servers and storage servers that interconnect with a high performance network. Then we have uh, uh, this container network, uh, container, container, uh, container computing systems. Uh, these are adding up together. This is what we call a super computing cluster called the Lingjun. So it is an integrated stack for generative AI computing. Um, so the key of this is really pulling up all these resources. We have unified resource pool, global scheduling, and we have to monitor and diagnose the, 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 the system so they can handle uh, the task of failures and perform some anomalies very quickly. And also, uh, we achieve high resource utilization on servers and the work bandwidth via multi-pass uh, communication optimizations. So on top of the Lingjun hyper uh, uh, supercomputing cluster, this is our platform for AI called Pi. So today, uh, uh, I want to, uh, uh, to emphasize the innovation we are doing is called Serverless Pi, which is a unified uh, computing platform for AI. So it has centralized management and the scheduling of GPUs uh, for HPC training 
and influencing workloads with very high uh, resource utilization. Um, my colleague Junhua will talk more about the uh, Pi later. Uh, on the big data side, uh, we have a new integrated data lake solution for GenAI. Um, it features multi-data for, uh, data formats, such as uh, um, uh, uh, oh, sorry, it has a high, high modality data, and also uh, has, uh, has enhanced the support for processing of unstructured data. Um, it features multiple data processing uh, pipelines like batch, streaming, uh, uh, incremental, uh, incremental, and a search. It provides data processing capabilities for, from seconds to hours, so wide varieties of uh, workloads. Um, we further improve the training data pipeline efficiency with integrated SQL and uh, Python development in notebooks. And uh, also, uh, we have seamless uh, in, uh, connection with the data and AI workflows. On the database side, uh, we have uh, a, a entire suite of database product to provide uh, cloud-native databases power, powered by data and AI. The core format is called a data management service. It now is upgraded to support multi-modality data, and uh, it has unified uh, metadata, unified deployment. Uh, it supports data governance and data, data, uh, intelligent uh, development. Uh, my, my colleague Fei Fei will talk more about uh, the databases later in the later part of this session. Uh, with, we, all, we are always committed to uh, security when we come to cloud computing. With the new generative AI applications, it's even more important. So we are now feature end-to-end -end security for AI protections. Uh, from the time when we do data collection, uh, data model design and training, model evaluation, and eventually model deployment of services. Uh, my colleague uh, Paul will talk more on this in the uh, later part of this session. Next, I want to talk about AI models and applications. Since I'm running out a little bit out of time, I'm going to speed up a little bit. So in June, we released our second version of a, a Queen uh, large language model. Uh, it has since been widely recognized from worldwide developers. It's number one in on Hugging Face Leaderboard uh, for the open source uh, pre-trained models. And um, many people adopted and derived models on top of it. It is now the number two in the, in the cumulative number of derived models. And the, it has been widely discussed among uh, uh, developer communities worldwide. Uh, we've seen 40 million cumulative downloads and uh, 50 million derived models. Yesterday, we also announced, in the main forum, we announced uh, the uh, QN 2.5. Again, we broke our record. Now it becomes the most powerful open source LMs. We have many uh, different sizes of uh, QN 2.5 models. I'm going to skip some of the technical highlights there. Uh, needless, to say, needless to say, uh, it has enhanced both the scalability and the capabilities, and it should, it should be uh, powering many of the future applications. Um, Q1 VL is our uh, video. Uh, uh, video understanding model. Um, now, it's also enhanced to support uh, image, to understand image with different resolution aspect ratios. It can understand videos longer than 20 minutes. And also, we have smaller size models that can fit into mobile phones and devices. And obviously, we support the multilingual support. Q1 audio has also been enhanced. It, ha it has also been a, uh, 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 the leading audio model uh, in mainstream benchmarks. Now we can support the real-time voice chat without the audio uh, speech recognition, and it can analyze audio information beyond just the speech. It can analyze the context, the noises, and the background music, and it supports different languages. Uh, Tong Yi Wan Xiang is our uh, 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 text-to-image generation model. Um, so again, it has been uh, further enhanced. As we can see some of the samples here, now it can support better semantic understanding and control. It's more realistic, the more, and it even supports more, more details. Now we also provided the text to video capability with the Tong Yi Wan Xiao model. Right? Um, it can now support the native 1080p uh, videos 
and it has more powerful motion and concept combination generation. And lastly, you see the sample here. It's, uh, it is uh, uh, capable of matching different uh, artistic styles. Uh, Tongyi Lingma is our is China's most popular coding assistant. Uh, up to now, five million uh, plugs has been downloaded, and then one billion lines of code has been written on the Tongyi Lingma. Uh, during this conference, we upgraded the capabilities. Uh, now it supports enterprise uh, rack capabilities for tailored experiences. So uh, enterprise are connected to their own databases, their knowledge, uh, uh, knowledge bases, to, to have uh, uh, the code assistant to be better understanding the needs of the individual companies. We also have a capability to add customizable extensions so that there are use cases that uh, if we cannot support natively, you can write an extension to support it. Another very important announcement is uh, during this conference that uh, now the Tongyi Lima has been upgraded to become a versatile AI program. It's not just uh, doing, uh, finishing the code snippet, help you understand code. It really can fix the bugs for you and the writing end-to-end -end, uh, softwares for you. Um, the way to building large language model applications, the preferred way to do that is on a product called the Model Studio. The Model Studio uh, is a one-stop shop for designing tuning models, building large language model-based applications, and operate and maintain the models. Um, my, my colleague Jeff will talk more on uh, uh, Model Studio uh, in the later part of the session, so I will skip uh, 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 quite a bit of this, uh, uh, this slide uh, here. Uh, so basically, we have made many, many improvements on Model Studio in the, in the, in the, in the model development, in the work, uh, in the in the orchestration and observability uh, of the model model studio, this is my last slide. So Tony's models has now been the go-to choice in the in the AI era. Has been serving more than three hundred thousand customers.